Hey, it's Zach. It's the Best Advice Show. Today, you are going to learn how to get out of your own way to help other people solve their own problems. My guest is Todd Perry. He's a staff writer at Upworthy, and he also produces and co-hosts their weekly podcast. It's called Upworthy Weekly. Todd spent a big part of his career writing radio ads, and he remembers being at this seminar where he had a light bulb moment. With a guy named Dan O'Day, who's like a master of writing radio ads. And so one thing he said to me that I wrote down that has been kind of the true north whenever I'm working on that type of stuff or anything in communications is, you know, don't tell me about your grass seed. Tell me about my lawn. Don't tell me about your grass seed. Tell me about my lawn. The first thing when somebody comes to you and says, hey, we want a radio ad. And let's say they're selling grass. They go, okay, the... Scott's 5,000 new greenery, you know, product is a breakthrough thing that's going to change your life. And that's what they want you to say. But in reality, no one's going to listen to that whatsoever. Nobody cares about your new breakthrough product or your anniversary or anything like that. No, it just it just washes over all of us, you know, because, you know, how many ads do you hear a day? But if I say, you know, that brown splotch on that right hand corner side of your lawn. Just about everybody goes, oh, yeah, you know, it's like, you know, that tinkering sound in, in, in the motor on your car. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. Or, you know, is your hair not what it once was, right? Or, you know, whatever. So and then, oh, that that pulls people in. And then you can maybe solve the problem with that uh, by then. Hey, here's here's how our product is going to make it a little bit greener over three weeks. And you give them some specifics and that. It's much more effective at getting your point across to people than bragging about your new breakthrough or anything. And I think the same advice when I see politicians that I think are good, it's like, how much did you pay when you're at the pump the other day? You know, oh, yeah, it's going up. Right. You know, and now you're drawn in. OK, here's how we could do it through legislation or here's why you should vote for me. You know, that kind of thing. Right. So it sounds like it's kind of like. um you're stepping outside yourself, and I, I heard someone talking about it in the context of they're a screenwriter, and when they go into a pitch meeting, they're trying to think about not how to sell their script, but rather how to solve the studio's problem. Like, you need a movie about this, you know, for whatever reason, rather than just talking about you. It's like, here, this is how I'm going to help you. Does that is that kind of what we're talking about? I think you hit it on the head. I think you much better than I did. I think you hit it on the head saying, yes, I'm here. I, this is what solves the problem. Your, your studio is missing a big gap of people between the ages of 34 to 45 of this income level going to the movie theater. Here's how to get them back in there with this script. Okay. Now, now we want to listen versus here's a wonderful story about a guy with two kids. You know? Todd Perry. He co-hosts the Upworthy Weekly Podcast, where every week you can get a dose of some good news. Oh my God, we need that. Thanks for listening to the Best Advice Show. If you can think of someone in your life who might benefit from this advice, consider sending them this episode. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.